So on the road, have done some funky stuff, whether it's personnel, formation-wise, whatever you do. Is there something to that, or do you just feel we like that's the time? Each, even even up, each week we prepare for it. I mean, you know, each week we find out what we can do on film and try to create mismatches and try to create advantages through formations. And that's part of game planning. Do you, do you feel like you have to guard against a game this big, not doing anything that you're not ready to do, or are you asking oh, I don't to think, do too much? I don't think we, you know, again, we'll only do it, and we'll get those questions answered in practice. I mean, you know, okay. we, we can't answer those practice, you know, those questions now because right. we can go to practice uh, each Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday when we go through it, we have our game plan finished by, you know, Wednesday, and we know exactly what we feel confident in calling and what we don't feel confident in calling. <laughs> With you, you know, kind of being at both places, do you feel like they're and it's a different time, too. I asked Dan if there was a different recruiting philosophy at both schools where it seems like it's states, two- and three-star kids that have been developed versus Alabama's ready-made four- and five-star you know, kids. Obviously, they've proven that in the recruiting wars. I mean, you know, we, we obviously have, have done well in state, and that's where the majority of our recruits are from in the, in the state of Mississippi, and that's the way we'll stay. If we can dominate the state in recruiting, then we'll have a legitimate chance to compete for championships. We really feel that way. Uh, you think about going out of state and recruiting when you go to Alabama, you've got two state schools, you know, so they have obviously have an advantage over you before you walk in. Then you go to you go down to uh, Louisiana, and you know you're, you're the second school coming in there. So those are things you got to guard against. I mean, we always want to take care of home first, and then branch out for needs. Looking at that matchup with the Alabama's defense, obviously you know, Tyler Russell's first year as a starter, but uh, played against him a good bit last year and had. Uh, a fair bit of success. I mean, obviously the game didn't turn out a success for MSU, but he, he seemed to do okay in there. wasn't too scared of Alabama defense, which people can get that way. No, they can be intimidated by them. They can. Uh, you know, Tyler, he's been been to the venue. He's played over there before. He's played at LSU. I mean, he's been in places where it's, uh, you know, it's pretty – pretty radical when you get in there and, and I think you know uh, we look for him to perform you know we expect good things from him uh, you know we're going to go through practice and find out what we like and what we don't like and what he likes and he doesn't like and then we're going to have those plays and prepare him for the game. I know.